Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing deep cue learning with the pendulum game from Jim. Anyways guys, um, before we get started, just so you know, I got some more reinforcement learning videos. The video before last time, um, uh, we did Acrobot, and then the video before that, we did, uh, you know, the cart pole standing up straight. Before that, mountain car, and before that, we did uh, another one, the blackjack. And then uh, a while back, we also did uh, a full, um, a more in-depth tutorial for um, reinforcement learning with the taxi video game and visualizing everything. Anyways, guys, when you guys are done, it's going to look just like this. And if you guys are new to my channel, be advised, I also got a lot of other stuff on my channel you guys might be interested in as well. Um, I've got ML pipelines, deployments on Google Cloud, AI and ML web apps both deployed on Streamlit Cloud and Render Cloud. You name it, I got it. Convolutional Neural Networks, just hypertuning the parameters. You name it, I got it. Check out my channel, other videos. Lately, I've been getting more into reinforcement learning. Anyways, guys, before we get started, remember, if you guys use Google Colab, TensorFlow, and uh, PyTorch already pre-installed, therefore, you don't need a virtual environment and all that um, inconvenience like you would do on a Jupyter Notebook. Okay. But you do need to install these libraries right here. So uh, go ahead and install those. Import these libraries. Remember, matplotlib is for um, data visualization. NumPy is for scientific computing. The IPython display works in conjunction with this later at the end. This is to get all the games. Remember how I was telling you about Acrobots? I was telling you about blackjack. We did deep cue learning. Check out my other videos, cart poll. Now be advised, you can also use retro wrapper, although uh, dumb brain's been having some issues. Not all the games are still available, so it's better to use Jim. However, um, some of these you have to install Box2G and Mujico. So be advised on that one too. And also be advised, there are other reinforcement learning libraries, which I'm going to explore some other time also. Okay. So anyways, there's your registry. And then uh, we're going to make the environment, the command says, although it's really loading the environment, remember? Pass that parameter right here if you want to play a different game. And you might have to tweak the code a lot from this, depending on the game, and I've probably got a video for that but just an idea or go off and do it on your own anyways guys this is the uh environment observation space and action space look as you can see we can get the ranges you see for the state and action okay and then uh we're just making this equivalent to this to make it shorter. Anyways, guys, um, your deep Q agent, because we're doing deep Q learning. We're not doing Markov's decision process. We're doing more Monte Carlo approach. Anyways, guys, with the self function in Apple and the class function, we're going to be doing the deep Q network. And this is all going to be loaded into that uh, command down there for uh, the deep Q agent because we're building the agent. Anyways, guys, with the cell functions, pass all that right there. The replay buffer, pretty much self-explanatory. Pass all that right there. PyTorch, like I was talking about, the NN, it goes right there for the module in the class function right here. The state action dim and then linear. This is uh, another way of computing, just like NumPy. The action dim and then the state dim. 
You guys, uh, just like a convolutional neural network or another neural network of TensorFlow, I don't recommend you guys change this unless you guys know the shape and what it's going to do, the input and output. You feel free, if you want, to use another optimizer, although Atom is the most common optimizer used. You can use SGD if you want, but it's just an idea. And uh, you guys see? We import optum, which goes into this with the class function. And uh, deep Q agent loaded. Anyways, guys, uh, like I told you, this is a pretty short one. My taxi tutorial is a lot more in depth than this with training and everything else and scoring. And it, it, it completes its task with very few time steps and everything. Uh, Completes this test with very few time steps and penalties. Anyways, guys, there's the self buffer. And then uh, there's the prize before we get into the code on this. You guys see he's going the right direction. The pendulum. <clears throat> Remember, guys, uh, in uh, reinforcement learning, before we get into the last part, Reinforcement learning, we're rewarding and penalizing an agent. But in this case, we're not doing uh, too much. We're not really penalizing them. However, guys, uh, be advised, when you uh, train an agent, like in my VAT Taxi video game, you want to penalize them more than you reward them because all things want to go to a state of rest in Markov's decision process. However, if they um, are rewarded too much, they tend to get lazy. Therefore, it's better to penalize more than to reward, but you want to give them some breathing room to learn. Reinforcement learning, we're, we're giving him initiative to complete this task the best he can. An agent is like a program within a program, if you guys aren't familiar at all with reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning, remember there's machine learning, artificial intelligence, deep learning, same thing. And then there's reinforcement learning, which crosses paths with uh, deep learning because you end up using neural networks. Like see my other video for reinforcement learning for trading. That one we use TensorFlow. And guys, uh, remember the MP argmax function, not in this, but in some of my other videos is used for scientific computing, is also the greedy function. It's also used to compute class labels in uh, deep learning as well. Like MP argmax equals, you know, MP argmax, put the parentheses around it, compute, and then it gives you a class label. Just like the MP argmin is for uh, competing a threshold sometimes. Anyways, guys, you see the linear and the self. Uh, PyTorch is a little different than TensorFlow. They're both dynamic libraries. However, I, I prefer TensorFlow sometimes, but I needed to do PyTorch because every time I've done a neural network, it's usually been TensorFlow, whether it's convolutional or a time series. I felt it's about time I touch PyTorch. Q network, self state, a lot of self functions, huh? Anyways, guys, um, let's get into the last part. He's doing well, huh? So you import Pygame, environment reset. Remember environment? Pygame in it, RGB array. If you guys change this, be sure to read documentation to see what else you can change the mode it to. However, RGB array is a safe one. The episodes in range, you guys can change that as well if you want. Action env environment reset, action, agent reward. Remember the agent and the reward. Done info. Environment render is the screen because we're visualizing them, remember? PLT IM show the screen ipython display clear output weight equals true if done break okay because remember it's a four so it's a four function so we need a if you know if done break environment close
Anyways, guys, like I told you, uh, reinforcement learning um, has come a long way because uh, self-driving cars, self-driving all kinds of stuff. Remember, reinforcement learning is uh, better than machine learning in some ways because you can automate trading, uh, you can automate warfare. There's no uh, end, uh, there's no... The sky's the limit with reinforcement learning in my view. I mean, robotics crosses paths into this as well. And even regular data science like automating trading. All done with data. Anyways, guys, um, if you like my video, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And uh, share, too, if you uh, want anyone who might be interested in this. Also, um, check out my other videos, and uh, please uh, stay tuned for next video, and please leave a comment if there's a video you want me to do. I think it's already worn itself out, the self-playing video games that I've been doing. Therefore, I might need your help and some ideas for some more videos to do. Also, if you're here already, there's probably something you need on my channel, so check it out. Let me know in the comment if you guys need anything help-wise or some another video you want me to do. I'll get to it. Anyways, guys, I hope you like my video. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.